18th. I'm actually midway through, well, I've had two thirds of the way through a strength and duro workout, so pretty sweaty. But I often find during a workout, um, because you're so focused and you, you're taking all of life's crap out, out of your mind, I can have sometimes, or I would say, uh, little pearls of wisdom come to me. I think oh, I'm gonna, I'll have to write that down for the clients and send out a newsletter, but then by the end of the workout, I forget. It looked like a dream. Anyway, the pearl of wisdom I had now, and I'm gonna say it before I forget, is this year, as we know, and I, I'm not gonna bear on it, but 2020 has been tough for a lot of us, and it's been a, un a unique year. So I was thinking 2020, so, you know, what else do we relate 2020 to and its vision? Our vision is 2020 is, is perfect, and I was thinking, okay, well, Maybe this break in life, this, this stop gap that we've had at the moment in 2020 is an opportunity for us to look forward, to start to assess what's important in life. Give us a chance to assess where are we at life? Where are we with our goals? Where are we on the path of birth through the death? And, and, and are we happy with it? Are we conscious of where we're going? Are we conscious? Are we happy with where we're going? Are we happy with where we're at? And that's certainly something I've done this year, I've taken the time to assess. And the three things that I think are really important, the three categories at least for me, and maybe for you too. Firstly, there's, there's work and business and, and our jobs. That's obviously important and that's a big part of our lives. The second, second is our health, whether our fitness or our general health, obviously super important. Obviously that's where we come in for you guys. And thirdly, it's family and relationships. And so what I think is really important is to, is to assess each of those three aspects because I don't think focusing on one and neglecting the other two is going to lead to a happy life. I think we can all probably agree with that. But are we giving each of those enough emphasis, uh, emphasis in life? Are we assessing where we're at? Are we happy with how we're performing in each of those aspects of our life? And also, what are our goals? What are our short-term goals? And it may sound silly with, with health, I mean, with uh, you know, relationships and jobs and goals, but it just is important. Are we, are we being a good partner? Are we being a good parent? Are we being a good son and daughter? What are some things we can set out? In the next three months, I want to take my wife on a romantic dinner and I want to do that. And yes, it's, it, you could say it's, it's regimented, but at least we're doing it, yeah? Are we calling our parents every week? All those little things. Are we taking our kids down the park to have a, a, a frisbee or a game of tennis? And we put those in our diary like we put any other goals. And what, what it means is we create good habits. And all of a sudden, we, we give each equal emphasis to each of those three points. Work, relationships and family, and health and fitness. And if we do that, to me, the long-term vision is looking really rosy.